Hey everybody and welcome to Arcade 92. Today we are going to learn how to play Stranger Things Pinball. So I am actually going to be cheating today. As you can see there is no glass uh, for instructional purposes only. So I'm going to walk you through kind of the two different ways to play pinball. Uh, the first one is easy. It takes about two seconds to explain and how most people play pinball is to just shoot at the blinky lights, right? That's it. Hit the blinky lights. That's all you need to know. Okay. Now, if you want to take it a step further than that, then it's, it, there's actually a storyline in every pinball machine. So today we're going to talk about Stranger Things. Uh, hopefully you've seen the show. It is a fantastic uh, show. I really enjoyed it. And there are several elements of the movie, or I'm sorry, of the, of the TV series uh, here in the pinball machine. So I'm going to walk you through uh, like what you're supposed to be doing, so to speak, uh, in, in Stranger Things pinball. So I'm going to fire this up. All right. So we are in a game and I'm actually going to catch the ball here. So you launch the ball. Okay. So again, I'm cheating for instructional purposes only. So you're gonna use your flippers to knock the ball. And what you're aiming for, there actually is something too hitting the flashy lights. And that is you're going for these purple arrows right here. So you hit here, hit here. Then that activates the next part of the game. And again, it's a blinky light. So again, there's something too hitting the blinky lights. But what we're going for here is we're gonna shoot right up the middle uh, where this red arrow is now blinking, okay? And one thing I really love about this game is if you kind of miss and you hit these sidewalls, it has some really cool audio to it, including like sounds like banging on the other side of the wall. So super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna launch it up the middle. Okay, so this says Demi Gorgon is busting out. All right, so our goal now, is to destroy, kill the Demigorgon. So a couple ways you can do it. You need to hit him five times. So as it goes up, you can hit him like that. And then he has like a life or a health bar here uh, that causes damage. So you have to hit him. You have to hit him basically five times to, or you get a one shot kill going straight. I can't, I'm doing bad even cheating. One shot. All right, so we defeated the Demigorgon. So I'm gonna catch the ball here again. And if you look down here in the middle, a lot of pinball machines are set up this way. Your main mission is what's in the middle. Everything off to the side here is kind of side missions that you can use to get a higher score. But this is the main mission in most pinball machines. So we just completed the level busting out and next is gonna be trap up. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. We take the ball, use our flippers, all right? So that should have activated the drop or the the next part, right? But it, it doesn't. For the second level, you have to do it two times. All right. So again, that activates our straight up the middle shot. So we're gonna shoot it up the middle. All right. So this time, you're gonna have to knock out two demigods. One cool thing is it gives you an extra ball. So you have two balls to accomplish this task. So. There we go. So that's one, and then we got the second guy to fight. All right. So then it goes to the third part. What's that? That's the next mission, run will, and then can't stop this. So essentially what happens is if you can complete that task five times, then you've beaten the game. You've beaten the main storyline of the game. But you have to do all that within three balls. So most people can maybe get past the first level and get stuck right about there. So it's, it is, ignore that. So it is, it is actually a bit difficult. That's the game looking for the ball because I'm holding it in my hand. Um, but there are several side missions. Like for example, uh, let's take the binocular route right here. So if we go up the ramp, Okay, so advances you to the next one. Oh gosh. I messed up cheating again. All right, we'll get another ball here. Catch again. So if we go up the ramp, again, wrong ramp. When you 
Okay, so you can see that every time you get one, it lights up to the next level. So when you've gotten all three, it activates a cutscene from the show, uh, and then a specific mission that you're supposed to be uh, working on. So again, it's telling you where to go. Look for the blinky lights, right? So, or wherever the lights are solid, it's telling you where to take the ball. So you can accomplish any of these side missions here and just follow the blinking lights. So there, again, there is something to that. Uh, but overall, I find that the most enjoyment on pinball machines is actually working through the storyline. So that's it for today. Hopefully you guys learned something and uh, we would love to see you guys come in for, uh, uh, I mean, any day. Uh, we're open seven days a week, uh, but on Wednesdays specifically, uh, starting around 7 p.m. It's kind of a casual pinball meetup. So if you enjoy pinball, come on Wednesday nights and just hang out with other people who also like pinball machine. We've got nine pinballs here at the arcade. Uh, currently our lineup as of uh, August 31st is Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Avengers Infinity Quest, Deadpool, Attack from Mars, uh, S Stranger Things, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Jurassic Park. So we've got a pretty, pretty serious lineup here at Arcade 92. Uh, I don't want you to make you think that all pinballs work this exact same way. That's not the case. But we do have Attack from Mars and Stranger Things side by side each other because they were actually done by the same designer. Uh, so in Attack from Mars, you have, to, uh, you have to hit these same kind of concepts. You have to knock these and that opens, lowers the force field of the UFO. And that's how you destroy the UFO as opposed to hitting the Demigorgon. Uh, so um, uh, there are some games that have a lot of similar gameplay to them. Uh, but pinball is growing really fast in popularity. We're so excited to be a part of that. And as always, all of our pinball machines are set to free play. And as I take every opportunity to say that, it, it, we are so happy to be able to have all of our pinballs on free play, which is not a very common thing. Uh, but on that same note, if you are playing uh, here or anywhere else, uh, pinball machines and someone is under the age of about 15, please help them out. Uh, they tend to hit the flippers too fast and that can actually make the pinball machines catch on fire. So we would definitely like to avoid that and I'm sure any other arcade or pinball lounge would also like to avoid that. So um, again, Arcade 92, it's time to play again. 12 bucks gets you access to about 100 or so machines and nine of those are pinball machines. Uh, look forward to having you here any day but if you want to specifically come meet and greet some people, have a beer with a stranger and make a new friend, that's going to be our pinball uh, balls of steel night every Wednesday, starting at seven o'clock till we close at 11. Thanks everybody.